just got in Howl here. And that's what what number moose is that? Four. Uh, yeah, that's that's number four. And uh it's not even four. I had an opportunity to get him on camera, but I didn't see him right when Colton did, but yep. I'm sure that won't be the last one before we get to the fishing spot. We still got a dirt road to go yet. Ah, uh, you ain't gonna see him. You ain't gonna see him. You're not gonna see him. Number four. There's a moose though. Oh, I can't see nothing now. <laughs> oh damn, that's the window, bro. <laughs> you see her or not? Nah, she gone. She gone. Man, I hit the window. I thought the window was down. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> oh yeah. Smash the camera right into the window. I guess I'll do an update then. 418. Yep, that's, that's, yeah, that's six moose, eh? Hey? Yeah. That's the first one on the dirt road, though. Number seven. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Number seven. That would, uh... Like what? A minute after Ooh, that last yeah, one? like a minute after that last not one. Even. Yeah, not even a minute. 4.43 here now, and we, uh, we just made it down little damn pump house area is right there and they don't have the water on so that's kind of worrying me but at the same time i don't know if it's really gonna matter because way in there past that sign there's a series of little waterfalls so they're still running water coming in here and going out of the mouth we might have made this whole walk for some mediocre or bad fishing i'm not sure i don't even know if it's gonna matter but i'm hoping that the water here is on a timer and it's gonna come on in a little bit, I hope. That's what I'm hoping. Cause it's just common sense fishing, running water, fish go to it. So I'd really like for it to be on. If it doesn't, well, we gotta deal with it. We made the walk, so we're here now. I'll update you when we get to fishing. Another fish head there, dude. Yep, there you go. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, it's not looking too promising. It's 531 here now, and uh, they still haven't turned the water on. Now, there's nobody working, so like, I don't know if it's a timer thing, if it's automatic, if they gotta be here to manual, like, manually do it. I have no idea. I don't know enough about the place. But uh, yeah, it's kind of a bummer because I know that's kind of why the fish come in here and the water not on. So me and Colton said we'll give it till six. And if they don't turn the water on and there's no fish around, we're gonna pack up and head to the Narrows. Try not to waste the morning at least. Colton, that was huge. I know. Well, we don't stay a little longer now. Colton just saw, what, what was that, a trout? At least a two and a half pound trout, buddy. At least. Fuck me. <laughs> Fuck me. Now that, that could have been like, not cause it's a good spot. That could have just been cause like he was coming in cruising around. I don't know, it might be, that was a nice trout. It might be good here with the water not on. I have no idea. It might be good here anyway. Cause the mode of it is up there and there's still current coming in. Yeah. Okay, there's hope. Oh, I had one, buddy. There's a 553-ish here now, and that water hasn't turned on. Kind of chilly, wind's coming up that canal, so we're just gonna go ahead and pack up and get to the Narrows. Wasn't really a waste of a morning. I mean, Colton lost a monster trout. But that's, that's what that's what buys that come with me do. You and Matt, friggin' always losing the big fish. And uh, yeah, the seagull is doing better fishing than we are. So we're gonna go ahead and get in the narrows. All right, look, now we'll leave that water come on half hour after. Oh, hmm. oh well. Moose up there in the road on my side, looking right at us. I'll probably go in the woods before I get the chance to even do anything. Yeah, you got two little uh, spikes. 
bike's down in there. Now, go off the road, buddy. I don't want to run you off the road. Come on. Where are you going? <laughs> Okay, that feels bad. I'm gonna let him do whatever he's doing. I'm just gonna stop. There you go. Yep, the number eight. Come to Sandy. Mm -hmm. On the way to Narrows now, because Hodgebrook was a disappointment with the water not on. I don't know if we gave her enough time, really. I don't know if the water comes on at a certain time or whatnot. But, uh,. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to the Narrows. Run at the Narrows should be on any day now, so this can't hurt. Give us some knowledge on when it runs in or not. So, off we go there. Number nine, number nine, number Here at the Narrows, the wind's cracked here too. Down in that quarter landlock. So we're gonna keep fishing here. Seems to be some okay fishing going on. I got smallest fish in the world on, Colton. Buzz over there doing good out there, so it looks like smell. I'm gonna smell the right now. I'm in soon, so I got this here. Give that a go now. What? No, I'll let him go. Man, he got both treble hooks in him, too. Shit. Yeah, I might be keeping him. If I do, that's not too bad. It's not a bad fish. That's just sketchy for me to grab. Oh yeah, I'm keeping him. Yeah. I'm keeping him. Cut himself right in his heart, man. He'll be good. <laughs> what? No, buddy. What are you saying? Hooked him right in his heart. Look, he's hooked down there. See, I'm keeping him. He's about a pound and a half. So I'm not mad about that. Yeah, he's bleeding everywhere, man. I gotta keep him. Let me get the plug. Turn the camera on because I get a hook in my hand or something. Wouldn't do me first on. Thanks, brother. He's three pounds easy. Easily.
right in front of me, dude. Look. Like that smell. There's a lot of smell. Matt showed up. <laughs> Last time we got one, got it up. A half hour ago. Just telling Fred about the male spruce crows I've been seeing. There they <laughs> Me and Fred's making our way down to the Narrows here now. Should be a good morning. It's about, what time is it, you think? 8.30, 8.20, something like that? There's one fella here. I think I know him too. He's right on. Should be a good evening. Or evening, yes, but... Should be a good morning down here. That's a nice trout. What is it? Another one. Fish on. Feels like it might be half decent if it's a trout. I think it is. Other time I would let a fish this size go, but look at that. He might survive, but like his quality of life's gonna be shit. I feel really bad putting that back in the pond. It's okay in the pound and a half. It'll make a good little meal. I feel really bad throwing that back. Face all beat up like that, eh? Richard all. Uh, Trout! 
Trout. Oh yeah. It's uh, pretty slow here this morning for me and Fred. Some fish being caught, nothing massive. It's, it's weird because usually when it runs in, you can, you can go forever and catch them for a week or two. It doesn't seem to be the case, so I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna put on a jerk bait. I think I'm gonna go with something really bright. Stand out, and if that don't work, then I'll go with something more natural. See how that does. Well, I changed my mind. I'm gonna throw on this one here, Dollarama. It's just like a smell, not just like, but close enough. She's pretty bright and she's shiny too. I'm gonna give that a go, see how that does. I'm gonna be honest, it doesn't look that bad. So we'll give, we'll give him a go. Fred got another little trip. First cast on that jerk bait or crank bait. This feels a little better. Oh, some nice trout. Second cast, now with that little jerk bait. That's another nice trip, actually. Not say more, not as big. So I'll go pound and a half. Nice, oh, look how fat he is. Hi, Maddie. I got the video going and you always lose this big fish on my video, so don't. Black has a lure handle or something. That was probably trout. What the hell? What's going on? Just dragging up. There you go. <laughs> I say he's almost three pounds. He'll be two and a half easy. Say he'll go. He's fat, geez. He'll go two and a half easy. He might be three actually. That's why. Let's see. He did. So I thought the truth was. feels okay. That's a trout too. Or is it? Yeah. You just about as big as the other one, Matt. I think he's fatter. He's be turning on. Oh, Fred got one over there too. Sorry, Fred, but I'm getting mad. This is bigger. Oh, I thought he was way bigger than that, bud. Where are you? 
dad move is going to grab the line and pull the fish here. Okay. <laughs> Must be Cody's taking his time. Maybe Fred just enjoys the fight. No, I, I, I think he's good. Yeah, it's a decent little sailing there. Some nice trunk there too, eh? They're all fat too. Yeah, it's nice. Right time to get there now. Little salmon. That's sad there. Doing a little cook up. Good day so far. Really good day. Please, but. <laughs> Would you keep it them now? Feel good? Trout? Giving you head shakes. Oh yeah, nice little trout. Yeah. Trout? No, uh, did you guys want him? Yeah. yeah, okay. No, I wouldn't gonna keep that. I don't usually let, well, I'm kind of close to my limit there now, so I want to wait and see if I happen to get like a big one. I would have let him go, but I got him kind of hooked. He's hooked bad. I don't want them. So I'll give them to them. Huh? Some fish. Riding the boat. Just, I don't mind you trolling, but like, why are you going 0.6 kilometers an hour? Like, come on, get out of it, boy. These <laughs> trout are. <laughs> There's a wonder to even eat my lure. Cause I'll smell too, I know it is. Yeah, look, there's one down in a stroke. 